C'est mon one, mais comment je gouverne Vous avez vu, on va chez Mais on va chez Govno, et bien, ma bossy, on le fait dans le coup de son robot à Kiri. On va dire quoi, mon tatel, un badon. Tout ça, tout ça, ça, on va. Et tu es mon baba, tu es respecté, baba. Tout le monde, mon baba, sorrow. On te persigue, on persigue, tu es le rideau. Tu es ton âme. Then he said, only boss, my body, I. Kill your rear palette, but I did rather I have created a lot of respect. What if you will now? I like it. I'm above for money, I'm above everybody. So I don't see the value of Sumi. I don't see the dark room, the ones. The dark one more is going to call me away, the couple. I'm a shaker, I get it. When I grew up, I love her. She wanted to buy a house of Kotokuri. And then I go, I put you a simbe, to the Sabu, that don't do, to the son, to the son, on those states. People look like Kula. She won't roll in, would you roll, Larry? So when you look at all these things, we should know the, the path to go. Nigeria is not for one person. By 2000, by 21, 2110, by 2110, another 1,000 years, by 2110, by 2110, by 2010, by to back belle be lo to ba se forensic examination be o ma be gun eyan nu le eh to ti wa to fe lo tele we are the lord she wa don create everything nigeria la ti rori o in sure o ti nu bu se bo nigeria de da de la ti get answer ah ri bi don ti yan issue le gbe titi mo ah ri bi don ti su agbado ah ri ah ri e mo chinese tin gbe ga ri wants la ti chinese won ni ari chinese then he got to Vemba once he put up Pariwo. I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian, 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 I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Peter's TV. This is the channel that gives latest vibes to the world. Spreading, trading, news and gist about celebrating. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. Stay tuned and enjoy. Good evening and welcome to Peter's TV show. Welcome to another beautiful week in the month of August. As we always do, please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep watching always. Thank you. Prophet Marcus Tibetan said he told them when he was in abroad and also in the book of the prediction 2022 that Emir of Khan will come back. Sanusi will come back. And Sanusi is back. He said it was crew that brought him there and it's also a crew that's removing during the time of good luck, Jonathan. He said Gadoji was the one that ate Sanusi then because he wanted to collect loan. But he said if we look at the whole situation, it is the law of karma that what goes around comes around. He said because Sanusi too is also a killer, he did not live a good life. Automatically, he said when we look at it, what we are facing today, it is still the same thing that is happening, that has been happening before now. Prophet Marcos Tibetan said, Nigeria is not one. It is United States of Nigeria. He said, because this day that we got our independence, that is October 1st, 1960, was actually a bad day. Hmm. He called it a world rich day. He said, anyone who wants to rule Nigeria must change this date. He suggested June 12th, that is a democracy day, to make it a democracy day rather. He said, if all this cannot be properly handled, we cannot know peace in Nigeria, <laughs> God had their goal. He said a lot of things happened because they wanted to take Nigeria by force. We need to act right by going back to the Bible and read all these things very well. He said he wanted to be a teacher. There is a way to it. There is a way you will go. There is a right step to take. If you wanted to be a teacher, go to teacher's college. If you want to be a prophet, go to a good tutor. And let us know who to tell you. Where did you grow from? Where you come from? And even your mentor. He said this is one of the problems we have in Nigeria. Because Gaduji was a schemer. Gaduji is more or less a Yoruba than Hausa. Because he studied in the University of Ibadan. You know him. 
And that was why he gave his daughter to... He's still even aspiring to be a president of this country, which cannot be. <laughs> because automatically, he's a fraudulent person. So he was the one that hated... That hated uh, uh, Sanusi then. Because he wanted to go and collect loan. And that loan was... Uh, Sanusi was even like, you don't need this loan. And they wanted to collect the loan and share the loan and then found a political party. The one was when he was under, well, that was when he was under um, um, as a governor. Then, then again, the, look at the judge that gave the judgment. That's run to America. He's already in America now. He ran away because it was a cock and bully story. You know, kangaroo judgment in Nigeria, Jankara judgment is everywhere in Nigeria. So when you look at what happened, this is law of karma. Mm. And even Sanusi too, he's a killer. He, he did have a good life. Even there was a lady that, that got missing in, in uh, Niger Delta some time ago. That's why they don't go there and take all those young, young ladies and defy them and make them to burn to all these great people. Because they're thinking by tomorrow, the ball may re roll. So if they said that person is from Bahesa, he can be president. Oh, the mother is from this place. So that is it. So automatically, when you look at what we're facing today, it's still the same James Joker. Nigeria is not one. Nigeria is not one. Nigeria is a, it's the United States of Nigeria, which if Tinobu can even for, for change the name. Because the day they gave us that, uh, October 1, was a bad day. Mm. was a, a world witch day. Which all the, all the whole witch crowd of the whole world do, do their meeting. So automatically, anybody who wants to rule Nigeria must change October 1. Even if they change it, they can change it to June 12. So make it a uh, democracy day. So that is the problem. So if these things are not properly handled, we cannot know peace in Nigeria. I was just laughing abroad when I see people saying they want 100,000 for salary, they want 200,000 for salary. Why don't they ask Babangida, uh, Buhari, when Buhari was alive, when they were still battling for their life, Boko Haram everywhere and there. Even that time too, Dan Gote never to used his truck to bring uh, cement again. He was using his, his truck to dump people in the forest, in our, in the kitty, in Akure, everywhere. Because they wanted to what? They wanted to take Nigeria by force. Yeah. They wanted us to work to start the cattle. And that was when they were even saying they want the, the, grazing, the grazing belt from Kano to the other. No! Why are you looking for grazing belt? Is it, is it Jumbo Jet or Big DJ Highway lying on it? Jumbo? Look at how mouth peak they are. How stupid the Northerners are. And the Bible was telling us in Isaiah and Jeremiah. He said, trouble will start from the north. And where are we having the trouble now? It's there. So that's the problem. So we should go back to Bible and read all this thing very well. If you wanted to be a teacher, go to, go to teacher's college. That's Nigerian forever. You don't jump it. You want to be a pilot, go to the school of aviation. You wanted to be a prophet, then let us know who to tell you. Where did you grow? Who are you? We didn't want to take the, the right steps, but we just want to jump into things so fast, which is averting us so badly. He said when we get to abroad, it just seems, when we get to our body, it seems as if we are living in hell, Nigeria. He said even the millionaire in Nigeria, they are all thieves, gangsters, and even our governors, they are very wicked, wicked human beings, even behavior. Prophet Marcos Tibetan said, when we take a look at some states in Nigeria, he said we really need to pray for them. For example, like all states, on those states, they never want the lucky of a good governor. They have never won that before. They have been having bad governance so far. In Undo states, we have Uchiko. He said Uchiko was a thief from Bayez area. He said Bodhi Jodu was supposed to be a Yoruba person, Yoruba man, loaded four J8 bus of our money to Lagos. He said he's a Lagos boy, and he's the same person accusing people of stealing when he himself is the father of thief. He said, why is he now telling us that Tinubu is a thief? Saying a lot of things about this man, when himself is one of them. So these are the things happening around. These are the things happening in Nigeria. Prophet Marcos Tibetan Nigeria said, Nigeria is sleeping because no one out of our leaders that we can actually point as a good leader. All of them in the government are not to be trusted. They all are just fighting for their own mouth and their families' well-being. He said by next time, we are going to have a good election and good people will come into the system. He said all these presents won't, won't be there anymore. Wow.
they will all be chased away. He said the Senate's president's hands are not clean, and so the deputy hands are not so clean too. He mentioned something. He said Tinubu will chase all of them when he comes back for the second time. For real, the second time. Let's wait and see. That will be 2027, the next election. He said Nigeria is not for one person. By 2110, 2110, 2110, no one will be alive then. That's another 1,000 year, I guess. It will be for another century. With this, why don't we just do good by treating our neighbors rightly? If you are incapable of helping people, please do so. Because no one will actually live forever, anytime, any day. Death can actually come knocking at our door. And I hope it won't be too late by then. Okay, let us move back to our program before I started preaching. He said something about Nigeria. He said Nigeria needs to think deeply. He said it is not the matter of Tinubu alone. A lot of things is going on around us. Chinese now bringing their rice. They call it, I think they call it, okay, they are bringing their gari. They call it Chinese gari, Chinese. Hmm. He said another thing. It's those Muslims, they are trying to hijack all the Yoruba states, but no way for them. But now they want to come from Saudi now to establish mega city. Before now, in 2030, that will happen. They want to turn Nigeria people into slavery. People, he said that is the problem coming up right now in Nigeria. Prophet Marcus Tibetan said, if that comes nothing, let us go. If peace begins to reign, let us accept it and be in peace with each other. He also talks about Peter Obi. He said we should forget about Peter Obi and move forward. He said Peter Obi cannot govern and rule the country. That is not capable of doing so. Very soon we are going to be liberated. We are going to be liberated that we will soon be free by God's grace. And he also said there is nothing they can do to Tinobu because it's not the cause of the problem. We should play back. He said we should play back. There is this statement from Sanusi in, 2020, in 2012, 2012. He said before 2015, he said we are going to jump into poverty and to get out of it. It will be very, very difficult because of the way they are doing oil. He said they are going to around all this oil subsidy by just doing everything as they want. They will be suffering. He said there will be a lot of suffering before 2015 and we are actually facing that now. Lastly, he said, Betrayal will never live long in our house, church, office, shop, places, or anywhere. Anyone who betrayed never live long. They will never live long. That's it. Where do you come from? Who is your father? Yes. This is a problem. When Nigeria will just dabble into things and say that they want to talk. It's a, just a, it's a cock and bully story. So, mm -hmm. so when you get to our brother, tell you just as if, are we living in hell in Nigeria? Even the millionaire in Nigeria is a thief. He's a gangster. Even the governor. And when you look at some state in Nigeria, we need to pray for them. It's still like Ogun State. It's still like Ondo State. They've never one day been lucky of governor. They've been having bad governor. In Ondo State, we have uh, Otiko. Otiko was a thief from, from Bayesa area. Then when we got Bode George, who was supposed to be a Yoruba person, he loaded 4JF a bus. Of our money, he looted to Lagos. Only I'm Lagos boy. He never knew. He's the only same body judge now that is accusing people of stealing. And then it's Baba Sale and only then. So she won't let me say later. Then why is he telling us that Tinubu is a thief? Tinubu is a thief. 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 He loaned his salary and so that to be the chief. She more more, she more shuni. He she more go now. So these are the things. These are the things. So my brother, anything in Nigeria, Nigeria has rati bere. Has she jaru pa? She miss soon. She we can love it with leon. She is not president. Love it with leon. She go and love it with leon in Nigeria. It's over no government. All of my all of my gone. No one to run it. It's no bo. But don't have to call Omora for the first time. But by next time, we're going to get good, good election. And good people will come into, into what? Into the system. But when you don't know, you can see Konoa, Tomaku. 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 You can see Konoa, Tomaku.
Bebe on dusty a penny. To me, I was any president or more now. I was deputy no more. So I want governor of state or more. Or no, what does do? I listen, I do get all of them. Then say governor, I hear the TYT, I can do Lou. They are just say, I don't know was a good lawyer. Say more one, I become a governor. But I mean, I'm a governor. But I'm a governor, and me and my boss, I'm going to go to the house and go back and kill you. I'm going to go to the house and go back. Then he said, Only boss, my bad, yeah. Kill your real palate, but I do rather I credit the loan in respect. What if you give him now? I like it. I'm a man both for money, I'm a man both for everybody. So I don't see the one of Sumi. I don't see what I'm sharing in the dark room. The ones. The down one more is one. You took home, yeah, well, you come. So when you look at all these things, we should know the, the path to go. Nigeria is not for one person. By 2000, by 21, 2110, by 2110, another 1000 years. If you don't pay, you say, I'm on your home and better let. But I'm the foundation. I read your bear, I cook, I cook, I'm going to go. What you love? To back belly, be a lot of us for a single examination being over big way, you know. Yeah. Don't you want to tell it? We are the lot of you, I don't create everything. Nigeria, let you rule you. In short, you know, someone like that, that they like to get the answer. I really don't think you should like vegetable. 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 I really don't think you should one is a uh, Chinese. Mm. Then he got to Vemba once he put up Paris. I almost think my Chinese and Muslim retired. Did 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 Latin Babu go Yoruba state. Kusano. So, no. She won't have one lot in Saudi. She won't have that mega city. Like, between now and 2030, mega city. Oh, what you want to do? Lost in Saudi Arabia. Take back, take back, take back. I'm very tired. I'm very calling. Like, I'm a bad Nigerian and driver. I'm a bad Muslim. And that brings us to the end of today's show. Keep watching Peter's TV and do not forget to subscribe, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will meet tomorrow by God's grace. Do well to enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.